Welcome back to another episode of Plant-Based Ads. I'm Joey. I'm gonna do a, a different video today. I'm gonna do a what I eat in a day video um, and I'm gonna have you follow me throughout the day at work. It's 5.30 in the morning on Wednesday, uh, August 4th. If you're in the group, you know that uh, last year uh, I became an emergency substitute teacher for one of the school districts here in Arizona because there's such a teacher shortage. Um, and I was just doing some substitute jobs here and there. Uh, well, this year they, they asked me to be a, a substitute math teacher long term for the entire first quarter. Uh, starting, uh, I just found out last Friday, starting this week. Um, I spent Monday and Tuesday, August 1st and 2nd, setting up my classroom and getting the content. And today's the first day of school. So in addition to taking care of my son and my family, uh, the videos for YouTube, doing real estate, which is how I make a living, um, all that stuff, I now have a full-time job for the first quarter of school anyway. Normally I don't have a job to go to and I just kind of heat food up at home and I'm kind of at my leisure and I'm not really under pressure to, uh, you know, to pack lunch or any of that, but that's what I'm doing today. So I'm gonna show you what I'm eating in a day, uh, starting with breakfast, 5.30 in the morning here, and then I'll, you're gonna come along with me to school uh, and I'll show you my lunch there. And then when I get home, what I eat as soon as I get home, and then what I have for dinner. So let's start with breakfast and let's see what I'm eating. It's all gonna be really simple today. I've already cooked everything on Sunday. I pre-made my meals for the week. I'm just gonna throw them together and you can see uh, how I'm doing this. Let's go. As you can see here, I'm just gonna pour some overnight oats into this bowl right here. And that's gonna be my breakfast. I've just got some uh, fresh toast oats here. And I've got a video right up here you can click on the link to that shows uh, how I make uh, this this French toast oats and a bunch of other ones with my sister April from Mediterranean, Mediterranean Maiden. And I'm just gonna add some banana to this. And even though there's cinnamon here, I'm just gonna add a little bit extra on top and get that in. All right, folks, so you can see here, I've got my oatmeal, I'm ready to go. This is gonna be a simple breakfast for me today, and this will hold me over till lunch, which is at 11.30. All right, let's get this done so I can shower and get out of here. See you in a bit. Okay, first off the bat, for 10 a.m. snack, I have some steamed cauliflower with the potato carrot cheese sauce and a little drizzle, maybe a lot of drizzle, of some sriracha garlic barbecue sauce. Okay, and then I brewed some fig leaves that were uh, dried, and we seeped that for about 15 minutes. Uh, put it in the refrigerator and um, I've got a cold drink and there's some benefits to this. Okay, we'll see you at lunch. All right, everyone, so you can see here, I'm at work. Uh, it's fifth period and uh, I have a, a, a prep period now and then lunch, so I'm gonna get ready to eat. It was a crazy first day of school. I mean, just nothing like I've ever experienced before. Wow. The kids were really energetic to be back. I, I'm amazed after everything we'd went through and COVID and all that. Um, it's great to get the mask off my face too. I, I, it's just so hard to talk with that. But um, I'm just thankful for the position and the opportunity to, to be here with them. So I'm gonna uh, open my lunch up and I'm gonna show you what I had and what I packed this morning. Uh, and we'll get started with all that. What do you think of the bow tie? Cool, huh? Cool. This is the way I dress for work. So I've packed lunch to go. First thing I'm gonna do is open up what I've got right here. And this here is my 
uh, Instapot garlic noodles, and I've got some uh, microwave steamed broccoli here. I'm gonna dump this out onto a plate for myself. And that is a lot of noodles. All right, so that's one of my options right there. Next, I know that seems like a lot of food, but I haven't eaten since breakfast and I'm not gonna be eating again till a lot late. Next, I'm taking just some white rice and I've got my cauliflower based cheese sauce and I've just poured it over the white rice. So all this is, is rice and cheese sauce. And sometimes, like, I just love that. It's simple and it's really good. And then for dessert, I just got a little uh, starch solution brownie. That's why, that was my video a week or two ago, right? And I'm just gonna have that on the side here. I'm not ready to eat that yet, so I'm just gonna put that on the side. All right, let's dig in and see what we got here. The rice is really good. Um, it's so simple, but it's delicious. So now I'm trying the broccoli and the Instant Pot noodles. These are perfect dishes to prepare ahead of time and to have for you. This is actually my third day of work, but the first day with the kids. And I've been eating the same dish all week. It's absolutely delicious. All right, I'm gonna eat this up and then I'll be headed home about 2.20. I should get home about three o'clock and I'll probably be hungry, so we'll have a snack there. We'll see you then. And it's lunch. We've got some pickled beets and carrots, some sauerkraut and some salad with two prunes, good fiber, right? Miso wat with some spinach, and I've got sweet potatoes with some sauce. All right, I brewed so earlier some uh, Rubio's tea, heavy in antioxidants, and beets. Okay, I explained why, what I have, and I thought maybe I'd give you insight to why I'm doing what I do. So, um, definitely we talked about incorporating more greens, so the miso wat, excellent opportunity to add spinach, right? Now the salad, I have some prunes for fiber, there's bell pepper, currants, tomatoes, uh, cucumber. So all things that are great. Now the tea, Rubio's tea, I included some lemon in that because I'm having the beets and those are heavy in oxalates. So I thought it would help prevent it from um, clumping or creating renal stones. So anyway, that's the reason for that. Other reason for having the Rubio's tea, super high in antioxidants and getting a midday boost of that, uh, I've read is really beneficial. So that's kind of the reasoning for that. It's full of flavor, so to have it cold really does work. All right, everyone, it's like uh, 3.25, 3.30. I just got home from uh, work, and uh, it was crazy. It was exciting. It was just exhilarating, and man, I am wiped out. So uh, I should be recuperating here. So 3.30, I'm going to grab a snack here. I just got some golden potatoes that I air fried on, on Sunday. I'll... Uh, just put the directions down below. I just air fried them at 390. Uh, these size potatoes, I did for 18 minutes. So I did each side. So I did 18 and 18. So they were cooked for 36 minutes. Depending on the size of the potato, I either cook them longer or shorter. If they're really small, like these little potatoes right here, um, they're all different sizes. This is about 12 minutes on each side. So about 24 minutes. So I, I adjust the air fryer time uh, based on the, uh, uh, the size of the potato. And all I do is just take a knife and I cut them once in half, right? And then I just cut them in, into four pieces on each side. So I wind up getting eight little slices out of them. So today I'm just gonna put a little barbecue sauce on it, but a lot of times I just take my plant-based cheese sauce, uh, the cauliflower one, or sometimes the cashew one, and uh, you, you know, spread it on top. If it's the cashew one, I don't put a lot on because uh, it's cashews and it's full of fat. But if it's uh, the, plant, the cauliflower one, or if I make the engine two uh, potato based one, then, uh, then I'll, I'll put plenty of it on. So, all right, so I've got my, well, this one didn't want to cut. Ooh, that one's bad. All right, I'm gonna throw that out. All right, so I've got my potatoes cut up. I'm gonna throw them in the microwave and heat them up. Let's go do that. All right, so my potatoes are out of the oven. I'm, I always add uh, salt to my potatoes after they're cooked. Uh, just because I can taste it then and I don't need as much as if you know if I was making potatoes and had to you know put a bunch on to season them so and they talk about this in the starch solution and maximum weight loss I just sprinkle a little bit on the top and that's it so salt done and I always put uh, pepper on my potatoes all right and then I'm going to put some barbecue sauce on it I use uh, this one here rib rack barbecue I find that I use a lot less barbecue sauce when I have it in this squirt bottle. 
Otherwise, I'm just spooning it on. Here, I've cut the top of this really thin so it doesn't put out too much at a time and I can kind of control it. All right, that's my barbecue sauce. You can see here, this is a really nice uh, high starch, high carb, fat-free uh, snack to hold me over to dinner. So I'm gonna dig into this and start eating. So good. You've heard me say this over and over again, but I always have cold glass bottles of water in the fridge from the Berkey water filter behind me. Just having that water ready to go has cut my family off of every other type of fluid. So there's nothing in our house to drink other than Berkey water and cold bottles, which has been amazing. All right, so I'm gonna eat the rest of this. I'm gonna get Lex to his meet the teacher thing. I'm going to get back here. I'm gonna make a salad for dinner and I'll see you then. All right, so we're back. It's uh, dinner time. Um, Tim is uh, working late, so he won't be home for dinner. And I, those potatoes really kind of filled me up. So I don't really have a big appetite. So I think I'm just gonna do the salad. So I've got some leftover lettuce here and I'm just gonna put some remain lettuce I had in a bag uh, from my, when we made salad uh, one or two nights ago. After that, I'm gonna throw in some uh, grated carrots. We always have carrots grated on Sunday night. They should still be good. Um, I always shred or grade carrots just for spring rolls and salads and that sort of thing. So I'm just gonna throw that on here. Next, I'm gonna throw in uh, half an apple. I just uh, cored an apple and then I cut half of it into little chunks. I'm gonna pop that in there. I love having apples on salad. Then I'm also gonna add some dates. I know it looks full, but this is two medjool dates and I've chopped them up into little pieces. Dates on salad are so good. Just a little oomph, right? A little extra sweetness in there. It's really good. You kind of have to spread them apart because they all stick together. And then I've got two walnuts chopped up um, into little pieces and I'm just gonna sprinkle those on here. You can leave these off, they're totally optional. I kind of like a little crunch in my salad. And the last thing I'm gonna add is dressing. This is from a dressing video I did years ago. Um, I had three dressings in the video and this was the Maple Ranch. It's a really old uh, HCH recipe that I still use today. I try dressings all the time. Most of the time I just don't like them. So I still occasionally use cashew-based dressing and that's what this is. It's, uh, it's, it's a very small amount of cashews with uh, some maple syrup and uh, some water and lemon juice and some spices and it's absolutely delicious. And I've tried to replace this so many times with so many other dressings and I always come back to this. So it just, the recipe makes a very small amount. It's two tablespoons, that's all it makes. I'm gonna pour this on top. There's not much of it and I'm gonna make that last. I would rather have a dressing that I like if it's cashews then uh, that'll make me eat this whole salad than a dressing that I don't like because it's made of beans uh, and I wind up having three bites of the salad, I'm over it. So if you want to use a different dressing, you absolutely can. You know, it's a weeknight, I gotta get this done. That's the dressing I have, so that's what I'm gonna use. All right, let's give this a try. It's got all my favorite things in it. Let's see what we have here. So delicious. All right, so there you have it. A full day of eating while I have to work a full-time job, which I know is what everyone's doing, right? But it's just not something I normally have to do. By having everything planned ahead of time on Sunday, it set me up for success, you know, on Wednesday here. So this time, nothing fancy. Every one of these meals you've seen me make before, and I'm gonna put links above to all of them so you can find them. All right, I hope you got some value out of this. You really got a chance to see uh, me doing what you do. And I don't know how you do it because it's really tough. I'm gonna have to do this for the rest of the first quarter of school while I'm doing the substitute teaching thing. And, uh, but I absolutely love it. And uh, it is, really gives me so much satisfaction to be working with middle schoolers. I hope I get the opportunity to stay there for the whole year. All right, hit that like button, show us some love. Hit that subscribe button and click that bell. You'll get notified every time we have a new video, usually every Monday. And please leave a comment below. Are you dealing with trying to manage a family, trying to manage your weight, trying to manage you know, a household, and trying to manage a full-time job? All right, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.